billionaire businessman taking on the crisis at the southern border. You recognize this guy? Yeah, Elon Musk. Uh, while touring Eagle Pass, Texas, Elon Musk says he's extremely pro-immigrant, being one himself. Yet, he also sees that migrants are collapsing social services, the streets. Something has got to change. Meanwhile, Border Patrol agents telling News Nation morale is crashing. It's at an all-time low, and they are facing a moral dilemma. News Nation Border Correspondent Ali Bradley is live to explain the very latest uh, details on Musk's visit to the border. He saw it for himself, Ali. Yeah, you're exactly right there. I even brought the cowboy hat with him in a true Texas fashion there, Marky. So they were saying, you know, Tony Gonzalez, who hosted him, the representative down there, saying he was really uh, excited about this move to bring an out-of-the-box thinker down there to see this situation firsthand and maybe get additional eyeballs on this that haven't seen the crisis um, in this capacity before. But when it comes to the moral dilemma that the Border Patrol agents are facing right now, a lot of video is circulating of Border Patrol agents cutting that razor wire, and it's causing some outrage. People are pretty frustrated that they're kind of making the way for migrants to come through. Governor Greg Abbott, even at one point, sharing one of our tweets where Venezuelan migrants were on the other side of that concertina wire, advising other migrants who are trying to cross to turn back because they were trapped on the other side of that wire. Governor Abbott saying that wire was working in repelling migrants. But that video showing those agents cutting that wire is something Abbott is saying that he is going to investigate. Agents I talked to that have actually cut that wire themselves say that they don't have a choice. One agent who was involved in cutting the wire said that yesterday their higher ups actually went to cut the wire and they required other agents to come along and assist. When I asked him what he thought about the situation, he said, quote, sucks. I had to help with cutting and moving the razor wire earlier, demoralizing. Now, regardless of how demoralized these agents say that they feel, the Border Patrol Council says that they signed up for it. It's all part of the job and people need to understand that they are just doing their job. The reality and the law is that once they're in the United States, they have to be taken into custody. That barbed wire is in the United States. It's already in land. So when those individuals reach the barbed wire, it is the job of the agents to detain them and take them into custody. Now, the agent ain't going to go through the barbed wire fence and get cut up himself. So the only recourse he has is to actually cut those pieces of barbed wire so he can take the individuals in the country that, once again, are already within the United States. There's so many layers to this too, Adrian, because those individuals that are already in the United States, right? Border Patrol looks at that as if they don't apprehend them because they have to. They're here illegally and an apprehension is an arrest, right? So they have to apprehend them. But if they don't, they're just going to walk off elsewhere. You think they're actually going to go home after they just traverse through multiple countries? All that's stopping them is razor wire. They're likely going to walk down the river and become gotaways. Somebody that Border Patrol doesn't end up apprehending, Adrian. So Border Patrol Council says that's, that's the option right now, that they have to go through that wire. We talk about the morale. Chief Ortiz, who recently retired, said back in September it was the lowest it's ever been. Art saying it's even worse now, a year later. And this comes as, of course, they're waiting to find out if they're even going to get a paycheck next week ahead of this potential government shutdown, Adrian. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.